Hey, it's Matthew David and Fiona. Fiona. So I have some really fun stuff for you today. So here's the idea. I have something written down in my car and everything really is all about your perception and your thought because where attention goes, energy flows. So if we give attention to the truth, to the God all in all fact of life, and we do it in a certain way, then we bring about the demonstration. That's the whole gospel in a nutshell. Everything you're reading in the gospel is telling you to do this, telling you what happens when you don't do this and what you do when you do do this. So I have this written down. There are two things that I wrote down. And an unself love receives immediately divine assistance or divine power. So that's from Mary Baker Eddy in the Christian Science book. Now, what do you think an unself love is? Well, it means to remove you as a person out of the equation and behold only love as the cause of all reality. That's what an unself love is. You don't think about it from a human perspective and like, oh, I'm just a good person. No, there's no such thing as a good person. The good and evil in the world that we qualify is not how you get there. You have to retract all of that. So an unselfed love equals you as the self out of the equation which means that there is only the God presence now with that said the next part of this it states God loves me and he cares for me he is always supplying me with his good I love God I think his thoughts I only do what he wants me to do okay Fiona repeat after me God loves me, God loves me. and he cares for me he is always supplying me with his good. With his pup. I love God. I think his thoughts. And I only do what he wants me to do. Well, she's really got this, doesn't she? So, anyway, we repeat this and we just drive it home. So. I've been working with that for a while now, and then I'll tell you the real magic that comes from this. So, if you can get a grasp of these things, you know, the first concept is that God is all, and an unself love equals divine power, which means that as soon as you remove your idea of fiction out of the equation, your physical self, your earthbound character, personality, get rid of all that. There is no God and then a separate person. God is no respecter, of, which means observer, of persons. God doesn't observe persons. Nothing material and mortal was ever created. It's a dream. It doesn't exist. All right? It's the dance flickering in and out of existence like molts of dust in a beam of light of the nothingness, looking through the zero where the world happens to present itself as the fallen state of dream atom consciousness, the five senses, what you see, smell, hear, taste, and touch. That's the carnal mind looking at its own deceptions. It's the dream. So, when terror or error comes to you in the dream, here's what you do. You say, this is a mistake. God is running a perfect world. God is only running a perfect world. And you rest in peace. By the way, use my Rest in Peace app to keep reminding yourself of the truth over and over and over again. You must know these things, all right? So <clears throat> here's the idea. This is put into application. So when I was learning this, um, looking at the teachings of Herb Fitch, I learned this specific technique, which will absolutely blow your mind. He was saying that when you do this and you take all of your cares and concerns off the material nothingness out there, the uh, empty dead carcass, then what will happen is it will bring about divine order because you're putting divine order in your personal thought, which is the only cause to come into being. We're purifying our thought here. Everything is thought. The whole point of the gospel is for you in this school to become more godlike by purifying your, your thought and seeing only the pure mind of Christ. And the pure mind of Christ knows. What, what is God knowing? Well, God is knowing no problem, no error, no disease, no lack, no sickness, no suffering. All is perfect and beyond human thought, beyond human thought. So the way that we get there is we understand, we stand under it, under a divine law by putting ourselves subject to that law 
by turning our energy and attention toward it and pegging ourselves and refusing to move from it. We rest as it's settled already. It's already settled. Nothing can change it. It's forever permanent. It's the presence of the God force that is the only power in existence. Okay? So today, I've been, I had to apply this. It's 3.45 in the morning. I'm on my way back from Fond du Lac to Sheboygan, and I'm coming to, you know, see the kids. I'm just going to get a little head start, just get my day started. And wouldn't you know it, I get pulled over by the, you know, the sheriff, right? Well, anyway, for some reason, I had switched the knobs around in my back. My, my tail lights weren't on. So it's, I have this, this new Jeep Grand Cherokee, and if you move the knob from auto to the other side, it, the taillights don't go on for some reason. So I don't know what happened, but the knob was moved, no taillights. So anyway, he's, you know, looking for a reason, you know, he's an eager beaver. He wants to like, he wants to collect, you know, he's a, he's a collector. He wants to make money. So I get a ticket and then I'm like, well, God's running a perfect universe. You know, this is an illusion. This is a dream. God's running a perfect universe. I don't even think about it, you know. And then all of a sudden, later on, like several hours later, I just checked everything. And, you know, in 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 the accounts, you know, from some of the businesses I have, I was like, wow, look at that. What a tremendous day. Like, there was a, there was a surplus, like a tremendous day. And I thought, well, that's like multiple times whatever, you know, he... Rent, he stung me for on that ticket. It was multiple times. Like, and I said, you know what? This is what God does. When you're confronted with an illusion of terror or error or something, you really must peg yourself to the truth. You must know the truth regardless of appearances. The appearance of things is nothing. It's the carnal mind observing its own ignorance. You set your heart upon the things that are God's. And the things that are God's are divine thoughts and ideas. And your heart means all of your energy and attention, your affection. Think about it. If you're in love with somebody, what are you giving them? Energy, attention, and affection. You're, you're devoted to them. So you put your devotion onto the idea of God and his principle. And the way to do it is to just simply turn to the presence within, the still small voice, the silence between the thought, you know, the rest between the agitation, and say... God is only running a perfect universe. And that's it. It's settled. There's nothing else to discuss. Leave all of the cares and troubles up to God to present that perfect universe to you by breaking through that dense fog of the dream and coming through as the all-sufficiency or the immediate resolution or the hidden good that's right omit the trouble that is really the truth trying to show up. You see, only the good is true. That is an absolute fact. And I say that precisely. It's an absolute and it's a fact. And as you begin to negate all of your negative evil thinking, which means you allow the thoughts of mortality to come into your awareness, all the garbage of the world race mind, of the competing forces of good and evil, and all of the false stories of something outside of God's creation. God can't be perfect and forever present and then trouble at the same time. So you have to make a decision in your heart whom you shall serve this day. This is the day that the Lord hath, Lord hath created, and I am this perfect day, and I know no darkness. You see, so what do you do? Real simple. God is only running a perfect universe. This can't be. I don't need to take up the fight. I don't need to do anything about it other than to know the truth. And the truth itself will set me free. My only responsibility is to rest my cares and concerns by putting my faith, by placing attention on the things which are God's and refuse to move from that position. Because that is the recognition of divine law and once I recognize that divine law is the only law operating then I bring about the resolution through God's understanding so real simple today but yet immensely powerful you have to have courage you have to use it and you have to refuse to back down within fear and believe any of the lying false appearances that are happening out there 
it is a dead empty carcass there is nothing out there it is a zero so keep your eyes on the truth and don't move from it